Well, welcome back again to the MLG Championship Sunday. I am just, I'm, I'm all filled with electricity and excitement here. This has been an incredible weekend. Right now, we've, we're sitting here, we're going to wait for the lower brackets to sort themselves out. But Puckett, was this what you expected for the first event of 08? I mean, and, and if it is, how could you have expected this? Team Classic who? The number one team in the venue right now. They're advancing to the championship bracket. I could not even dream that Sunday. It's, that's so ridiculous in my mind. I, I still can't come to terms with it. But those guys, they're phenomenal. I never have heard of Fear, Ant, or Soldier before this. And those guys impressed me so much in that last game. Their teamwork and communication is a step above everyone else that I've seen so far on the main stage. Well, it definitely seemed like they've been here before, even though they haven't. Now, some of the other teams that we usually talk about at this stage of the tournament, teams like Carbon and Straight Raven, well, their tournaments, they've ended pretty much. Final Boss is still in there fighting it out, seeing if they can fight their way back, but even if they win this game they're in right now in the lower bracket against Triggers, they've got to go against Instinct again, who's hurt, uh, definitely hurting after that loss to Team Classic. Now, the thing I have, I've noticed this weekend is that all weekend long, people have been super excited because it's the first time we saw Halo 3, and they thought maybe, just maybe, we're going to have a different team on top. And right now, it's looking pretty good for that. But they've also been excited because all these guys, as you said, all believe that they had a chance to win. I think Team Classic is best and by that by going on this recent run. And I have to say, Sundance, so far, this is going to be my favorite season. The competition level is so tight. Not, we no longer have three teams contending for that number one spot. We have eight of them. Definitely seems that way. And I know that all these pro teams you know, from last season, the straight record for the Carmen's, are going to be back in San Diego. But for right now, they're stuck sitting on the sidelines. I wonder what that feels like. I'm sure they weren't expecting it. Meanwhile... What we're also got for you this weekend is we got something very special from Bungie. We were fortunate enough to get some time with the new map called Blackout. Now, Blackout, as you know, is a makeout of Lockout, which is a Halo 2 favorite for us here at MLG as well as for everyone else out there. We're also going to show you some of the ESPN top tens that my good buddy Puckett over there does. And we've also got for you the winners of the Army Film Festival. So have a look, and we'll be back after a break. I'm Chris Puckett, and this is another edition of the MLG ESPN Top 10. Check it out. We're kicking it off with Dan Demonium at number 10. He is the best barrel player I've ever seen picking up a double kill with one shot. Now check this out. That's a plasma grenade. There's no one there, right? But what is that metal? Yeah, it's a splatter. Let's see how it happened. Throws the plasma grenade, hits the barrel, and the cone gets angry. Taking out the blue player. That is one angry cone. Ah! At number 9, it is Venic here on the pit. Venic not so good with the scope, but without it, this kid is amazing. Picks up the killing spree, getting shot from his right, no problem. Drops it like it's hot, but he's not done. Picking up another no scope, and then in the air, he doubles it up. Check it out one more time. The jumping no scope, that's just dirty. At number 8, it's the man, the myth. The multi-team legend, Apples here on Snowbound. Team Swords picks up the triple. Time for the overkill, baby. But he's not done. In fact, he's just getting started. Check out the kill tack. Now we're rocking the kill atrocity. Kill Manjaro time. Kill catastrophe, everybody. Kill Apocalypse. I didn't even know that existed. And here's the first legit killing air we've seen at MLG. How about them, Apples? At number seven, it is Lee, and he must be a martial artist or something, because check out the 540 back smack. Here it is from another angle. The blue guy just gets embarrassed. I love that play. Here at number six, though, it is Shamrock riding dirty. Check out the no scopes from the backseat, picking up the double kill here. He's not done yet. There's the triple, picks up the reload, and there it is, the overkill from the backseat. Check it out one more time. That's Shamrock riding dirty here on high ground. At number five, it is Little Seb from Type Z, and this kid has got some skill. Check out the sniper reaction. Picks up the triple, now turn to his left. There's the overkill with the carbine for Kill Frenzy. Little Seb tearing it up on Team Slayer Guardian. At number four, it is my buddy I Money here on some free for all Guardian. Drops the grenade, picks up the double kill. Not done yet. Custard goes down with the beatdown. Picks up the sniper and overkill with the no scope. A flow goes down once again for the kill tack. You check out the back foot one more time. That's I Money at number four. At number three, it is Shaka One here on the pit. And this kid is one of the sneakiest beavers I've ever seen. 
fakes going around the corner, comes right back around, juking out two players from the blue team. Coming up right behind him now, moving in for the assassination. Takes down B-Leaf. Deluxe does the same, and now still yet to be shot. Shaka one embarrasses the sniper, picks up the sniper rifle, and then the overkill with the no scope. That's our number three. At number two, we got Dave Autry, the worst sniper in America. Or is he? Misses three shots, but the fourth one is golden. Check out the one shot over.